Well, for months, business owners around Kettleland have been battling a worker shortage. This fall, many are saying it just keeps getting worse. Over the summer, the return of college and high school workers helped keep many businesses going. Well, now that they're gone, several Sioux Falls business owners are having to make some major changes to keep their doors open. It's tonight's Your Money Matters. This is the one of the greatest places I've ever worked in my life. That's why I wanted to become an owner of it. For the past eight years, Lyle Gakey has baked bagels for his customers seven days a week. Until a lack of staff forced him to make some changes. We shut the drive through down, and then once we started losing more people, we had to sh shut down two days a week. So now we're closed on Sundays and Mondays. He's also closing at 2 instead of 6 p.m., all because he can't find enough help to stay open. Normally we have about 17 people on staff. Right now, including my wife and I, we have eight. So half of what we normally have. Some restaurants have had to shut down entire sections due to lack of staff. That's when Overtime Grill got creative and actually made half of their restaurant self-service where customers get their own drinks and even place their own order. And then we will deliver the food out to you, we'll clean up after you. Uh, basically the only difference is you won't have a dedicated server at your table at all times. In 20 years in the restaurant industry, Overtime owner Jeff Doherty says he's never seen a staffing shortage like this, where he and his staff are trying to continue serving customers with at least eight to ten missing positions. So what does it mean trying to run a restaurant without those people? Very, very difficult. Um, we've had to come up with new solutions. We've closed certain areas at certain times. We've had to adjust our hours, just not be able to stay without the labor. It leads to a lot, of, a lot of stress and a lot of sleepless nights trying to come up with solutions. <laughs> He's had the hybrid service in half of his restaurant for two months and says so far most customers are understanding. We obviously prefer to still be able to do full service to everybody. It's working because it's, it has to work. We don't have any alternative. The other alternative is to shut this side down altogether. Um, both business owners say their goal is to return to full service, full hours, seven days a week. But in both cases, it will take at least half a dozen new trained workers to make that happen.